Discover Mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. It's the IE's home for sports. KPWK AM 1350, Riverside, San Bernardino. An iHeartRadio station. This is Robert Littell for BlackSportsOnline.com, and I'm out here with Fox 1350. We are Fox Sports. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sports. Hey, and I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. What a crazy, crazy Friday night it was for high school football. Uh, last night, there was a lot of uh, lot going on as the uh, the thunderstorms came in. And one of the big games last night was the modern-day uh, Bosco game. That game was delayed. I do not hear you. I do, but that works. You, got, you, you might have to bring it on over here. But I like that, man. I, I like it when we don't hear Eternal because it makes me feel better. You know what I mean? Okay, hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's start over. Okay. Let, let's take it from the top. Well, you know, we we're, I think we're uh, we are uh, a Francisco Hookup there. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Uh, as you were as you were saying, uh, a wild, very crazy night. Oh, and... let's take it from the top, man. We're live. Come on, man. I don't think people heard you, man. Oh, they didn't hear that. I okay. don't think so. I no, because okay. you were in and out. I don't know if I heard you. Okay, okay. Well, just to set it off for Riverside, we are live in the great city of Riverside. This is IE Sportsnet, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's on Fox Sports thirteen fifty. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know what it comes to Inland Empire Sports. You know the conversation starts and stops here. Make sure you visit us on the web at foxsports1350.com. Yeah, so I don't know if, if we heard you from the top of the uh, from the top of the show, so I wanted to make sure we got you, man. But, you know, it's live radio. We always get this going. Like we were saying last night, we were doing the, the uh, high school game of the week, and we were at Etiwanda High School. And, and the funny thing about it was, it was a thunderstorm. We didn't see a, a single cloud in the sky, but I guess they have this thing uh, called radar or something, and they saw the storm coming in. I think it rolled in about – I went to sleep at 10 o'clock, I'll be honest with you, man. Well, well I, as you were saying, last night, uh, crazy night in uh, in the Inland Empire in terms of football, really in Southern California for football, uh, we were just getting to – we were calling, as you said, the Etiwanda versus Upland game. Got, this uh, started um, halftime, and we noticed the coaches and the – uh, referees huddling up on both for both teams, mm-hmm. and and we initially thought maybe they were uh, uh, conferencing about uh, the play calling. I mean, the, the, uh, excuse me, some, some of the, uh, the the referees, uh, the, the penalties that they were calling. Right, right. Because there was a, quite a bit, a lot called on Upland, and and ultimately what we ended up, we were uh, the 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 principal for Etiwanda came out. He contacted the 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 uh, the, the gentleman that was actually uh, uh, that was calling the game for the action for the stadium. And he made sure he referenced and let us know that uh, there was lightning, and we could, you know, we were we had a great view. Uh, again, we were at the beautiful stadium over at the Eagle Stadium, and we had a be- we had a clear view, and we didn't see any clouds whatsoever. So we were kind of confused about it. Uh, but then we checked, and we noticed that the uh, Corona Centennial and Norco game were right. actually called at that time because of lightning and rain. But you know what's funny is when I look at my uh, match prep. There was actually a final score with Aquinas, and they put up like thirty. So I think their game resumed. Yeah, that's interesting, right there, because as you said, like uh, most games we saw the, the Notre Dame, uh, we had people that was at the Notre Dame game, and that took place over at RCC. That game was called, um, uh, as, as we said, that the uh, Corona Centennial Norco game was called. We know for sure our game was called. Um, the station was playing the San Diego State game. That game was delayed for an hour plus. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there was a, a lot going on in terms of lightning last night. So we're still trying to uh, figure out exactly what's going to happen uh, in terms of um, are they going to replay some of these games? Or are somebody going to get credit? How is it going to be a loss? Are they just going to call the final score right there? What's going to happen? So, right, because because I'm looking at Max Prep right now and Linfield Christian. They played the whole game. So which is which is interesting. And then there are some schools that are playing today. So so it's going to be interesting to see. So I I, I guess it came down to the coaches. They can either say, hey, let's just go ahead and call it. Uh, we can continue it. Because right there, like I said, Aquinas and Linfield, they played four quarters. And, and, then, it, and, and then also we were saying about uh, there was also a final score you mentioned on for Roosevelt and Santiago mm-hmm. as well. So I don't know if they got the, the, the email and played the game earlier. 
uh, there was a lot going on. We're, we're, again, we're still trying to figure out uh, some of the details about what exactly transpired in terms of some of the games. Um, today is, is interesting, whereas it's going to be a lot of rain. Uh, we don't, I don't see lightning uh, in the forecast today. Uh, right, well, right. at least for Riverside, at least. So we'll see what happens. And then, I, I, you know, I saw people on social media talking junk, and this is how I saw uh, it said some people, uh, they, they had the option. I saw some of the Centennial people talking because they played Norco. So I guess they just called the game. So, I, but that's something we got to find out as well. You know, when you say they had the option, what do you mean? I, I, like I said, some teams are playing today. Some people are finishing the games today. Oh, 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 is that right? Some teams called it. Um, like I think oh, wow. Edawanda and, and and um, I think they, they definitely postponed. They, they just called. They called the game. They called the game. Yeah. But there are yeah. some teams that are playing today. They're gonna they're gonna finish the game today. I didn't. Um, I, I would be. I would really like to see who that is because right. most teams are calling it. Um, but you got to think if you're if you're in a bitter because it's league play now. This isn't non-league. Well, I mean, you got to think Corona and Centennial and Norco. That's a league game. But I think right they were there. up 21-zip. I think uh, Centennial was already up 21-0. Okay. Yeah. So it, yeah. Was, it was the uh, mercy rule like they do in Madden right there. So. Right, right, right. Okay. So, since, I mean, that team Centennial has today. And what's scary about them is the majority of their players are sophomores and juniors. Right. So that team right. is scary. Yeah. Um, so, no, no, there's no question about that. They are le- a legit team. Uh, but, yeah, again, it's, it's Fox Sports Radio, AM 1350. We're right here. Uh, we are live on air after a crazy night uh, in football lightning. We were right there. We saw it. Uh, but one thing about it was, it, 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 you know, good job by the referees because, you know, we initially didn't see the lightning. But believe me when I tell you, it was clear and present when we left. I mean, right. you, you could see it. There, there was no doubt about that. So it was it was a crazy night in football. Uh, we're going to make sure we kind of keep everybody up. Cause, but cause a lot of games did finish. Right. So, so the games that did finish, we'll make sure that we bring those to you. Give you guys all the updates and scores. Uh, we do have some special guests that are here, Coach B. Let's talk about that. Oh, I'm here every week. So, oh, wow. But I feel good. Phil. But uh, we Phil. have the the gentlemen they're putting together and formulating uh, out in the Elsinore, Lake Elsinore area. I think they're going to be at Elsinore High School. Um, they're putting together a, a men's league. It's going to be three on three. It's going to be five on five. And then also, we have some guys. They've been here uh, from the beginning. Cali Elite. Yes. Is in the building. Anthony, I think he's gotten too big for us. Yeah. Anthony is not here. He, he he don't have time. No, yeah. no. Today he ain't got time. No, but I'm saying, no, it's, it's uh, always a pleasure when we get a chance to have the good folks from Cali Elite in. As you said, when we started this thing, Cali Elite was right there in step with us. We was us. at the chicken spot. At the chicken Sitting spot. Sitting there talking about it. Yep. <laughs> and I, the funny thing is, you're a vegetarian. I do not eat chicken. And so. I don't I don't eat wings. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I just don't, don't eat hot wings. You, you, don't know? To, you don't have to tell everybody about it. I'm just saying, man, oh, you, from the guy that doesn't eat any chicken. I mean, you, you're talking about I would don't rather, tell people I don't eat wings. I would rather, like, not eat chicken and then whatever your disposition is with chicken. So. Well, here, here's the thing. This is why I like Raising Cane's, dude. I, I'll do chicken strips. Oh, my God. But well, I don't, I don't eat chicken on the bone. Oh, That's my just, God. It's just a personal thing. Go, you know, the story. I don't, have I ever told the story no, no, of, of why? It's okay. No, I want to know. So, so, when I was in Mississippi, right? That my, my, my mother sent me to Mississippi for a summer, and I had relatives that eat chicken. And, I mean, they devoured this chicken. I mean, down to the gristle. And I said, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. And ever since then, when I was like six years old, I said, I, I'm not eating chicken on a bone. So that was the first time you ever seen somebody eat? To the gristle. Oh, see, in my God. house, see, I'm, I'm, like I tell my mother all the time, you from Mississippi, I'm from California. You know, if we don't eat chicken like that in California, I'm man, not saying that you I'm do. But I'm, about, I'm telling you, my, you've I, never seen like that. That was the first time you've seen an uncle I, like. I mean, yeah, that was wow, the first time. Man. We grew up civilized, you know. So, <laughs> He's so I, civilized. I just, I just asked my grandmother, "What do you guys have against chicken?" Oh, I mean, for God. you guys that really just eat it, I mean, it was, my God, That's you, you would have thought that was the last chicken on earth. I mean, my my family is sucking on the bone. I'm like, it's, it's more. <laughs> it's, it's more chicken. So after that, I said, at six years old, I said, that is it for me. I will never again eat chicken on the bone. So that's just me. Um, I, I, I don't know. What to, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Like, you know, there's no, there's, there but we go. Crickets. I'm about crickets that's why I love bone. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, yep. a proud sponsor of IE Sportsnet in the Inland Valley Class. As a matter of fact, you just had a great conversation with uh, Raising Cane. Yes, so we're really excited about this. Uh, one of the things that we do here uh, on the radio show is we always try to make sure that we're extending ourselves and trying to help out the folks that are less fortunate. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be supporting some families, uh, those that may not uh, get a chance to enjoy the holidays right. uh, during Thanksgiving. Uh, we're going to be giving out a food bag for some uh, un- uh, some uh, some families. So uh, Raising Cane's has been the sponsor for that. Uh, we're going to be doing that on November 17th at their Riverside location. And then we're going to be doing that on Monday the 19th 
uh, at the San Bernardino County location. Right. So, uh, so we'll be giving uh, folks a little bit more information on that. We'll be posting that information on the site. How you can actually, if if you if you are a family that needs help, or if you know of a family that needs help, you'll be able to go on IE Sportsnet iesportsnet.com and you'll be able to fill us some information and get those families set up. Absolutely. So that's what we definitely want to do because it's bigger than just sports. What we want to make sure is we're giving back to the people. And also what I'm excited about, we're in the planning stages, uh, but you know we're, we're already it's already time to start planning the Inland Valley Sports Hall of Fame Classic. And this year, you know, every year we say this, every year we want to continue to add more. It's going to come to the point in time we're going to say there's nothing more we can add. But I'm, I'm excited this year because last year we launched the Inland Valley Honors. And what honors was, it was for kids who weren't necessarily the five stars on the field, but they were the five stars in the classroom. And uh, that was with all sports. So we, we, yes. had, we had people in there from, uh, you know, softball, uh, uh, swimming. We had cheer. Cheer. Um, and as you said, it was really just kind of just highlighting people that kind of did all three phases of it. And right. that's athletics, academics, and community work. So, right, right. Um, so, yeah, we really have some very special kids in there. But, but you were saying about what we're going to be adding to this, this year. So this year we're going to do the Inland Valley Sports Hall of Fame football banquet. Like last night we were talking to uh, the treasurer for the, the uh, Etiwanda Eagles Booster Club, Miss Michelle McDon- McDonald. And I can't thank her enough. She's the one who did the highlight video of us with, with uh, Etiwanda had right. that epic comeback then from, it was on uh, the news. from Damien. Yeah. yeah, I think they came back by like 34 points Which within like five minutes. Crazy. And her son, Tommy, I, I got a good information. Her son, Tommy's over at Chafee. And my daughter, Brianna, because they're the same age, right. they've actually seen each other on campus at Chafee. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. But I got a good, uh, good uh, chance to talk to Michelle. And when we were talking, you know, she was saying that her son's on on varsity, and she said he's like a 4.5. And I said, well, he's the exact kid that we're looking to honor when we do. He's a junior now, so we can't do it this year. It's going to be seniors. But I said, he's the kid that we want to honor because there was a kid at Etiwan, and I talked to him before. His name's Shane. He was the backup quarterback, I think, behind Tommy maybe two or three years ago. Mm-hmm. That kid went to West Point. And I told Michelle, I said, there's college, and then there's West Point. No, no doubt about it. And, and as you said, so, so we want to make sure we do that. So we're excited. We're going to be – uh, planning that, uh, just kind of really making sure we highlight the student athletes who are doing exceptional work on and off the field. So I mean, and, and I don't know what it is about Etiwanda quarterbacks because Hamill, uh, remember Hamill, he was he played with uh, him and Tommy split sometimes. Sometimes I think he was a four point three, four point four. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I I don't know what's in the water at Etiwanda, uh, but uh, yeah, they're doing great things. So uh, thank you so much to Michelle. That's something, and she was really excited about it because that's one thing we want to do. We want to highlight those kids. So as I was saying, just to make a long story short. What we're going to do is the Inland Valley Sports Hall of Fame football banquet. We're, the first year we're going to launch it. We're looking to have 10 kids come out, and we're going to honor 10 kids. We're looking for kids that have a 4.0 or above. They do community service, and they play on their team. So those That's are the nice. kids that we're looking for right now. So no that question. will be in January. Yes, yes, yes. That will be something that will precede the actual football game. And then also – uh, we will have, and that's the that's the, that is the uh, the Inland Valley Hall of Fame game, and that's actually the San Bernardino uh, County All Star Football Game. And Inland then, Valley Sports Hall of Fame. Okay, and then <laughs> it's, 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 it's the San it's the San Bernardino. I was just trying to make sure we highlight it is the San Bernardino County All Star uh-huh. Game for San Bernardino. And then we also have the Riverside Sheriffs. No, you're right. It is the Inland Valley Hall of Fame game. My, my bad. You know, sometimes I, you know, I, he gets I a little get too excited. Yeah, he gets I get a little, a little excited, excited you okay. know. It's okay. Uh, and then we have the. Uh, it's okay. We have the Riverside <laughs> County All Star like Game. Tony Montana, man. <laughs> right. And then that's sponsored by the Riverside Sheriff's Department. And uh, we're really excited about that. That's going to be uh, all the, uh, the All Stars uh, that are playing for Riverside County. And then we'll split those teams uh, east and west. Absolutely. And uh, we're, we're excited about we that. We have so. coaches locked in. We're have not going to announce it yet. Not going to announce it yet. So, so I'm excited. We have coaches locked in for both games. Yes. And then we have a, a, a coach. We're already working on the, the 215 small schools game. We've identified a coach in Riverside County. We're just waiting, making sure his schedule works. And then we're, we've identified a coach in San Bernardino, and I just have to go ahead and do that. And our guy, McMains, I got to take my hat off. He has become like the ambassador Indeed. for uh, Riverside County small schools. Um, lo- love everything that guy does. We've uh, it, the funny thing is, I know we got to go to commercial break, but the funny thing is, when 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 Eternal and I had decided to do the small schools games, and we really love the small schools games, we didn't know anyone in the small schools level uh, for football. So I, it just it, it, things everything happens for a reason. Right. So I shot an email to McMains. He loved the idea. First year he head coach. Second year he wasn't even a part of the staff. But he assistant right. head coach. And if we if he wasn't involved in that game, the second year it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, no no question about it. So big shout out to our guy Mc, uh, Mc, McMains, uh, Riverside guy. 
uh, yes. you know, former uh, alum of Rubidoux High School. Uh -huh. So we're really excited for his participation. But again, these are uh, three all-star football games that will be taking place uh, in the Inland in the Inland Empire, uh -huh. and we're really excited about it. And one thing, that you talked about it. This is one thing I know you champion. I, we, me and he and I were texting the other day, and I told him I want him to be an advisor, like the ambassador. I want him to be the guy when it comes to that small schools game. Right. And I know that's something that you you champion. So certainly, certainly. it looks like he he may take that 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 torch from us. So we appreciate it. So we're gonna go ahead and do a commercial break. We're just rambling on right now. Like I said, we have our men's league coming up next. They're gonna be doing some great things out there in the Lake Elsinore area. They're doing a charity event now. They were here what two weeks ago? Yes. And then they're, they're, it's a, they decided to come back, just walk in the, in the in the house, went in the kitchen, got the Kool-Aid. But it's all good. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a commercial break, and we'll have them up next. You're listening to IE Sports Net, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, live on Fox Sports, 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we're all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day. And our chicken is hand-battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. And our lemonade is always freshly squeezed. Love the window. And why do we do all this? Because it makes a difference. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24 7. Call 800 282 8605. That's 800 282 8605. 800 282 8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800 282 8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no. Wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories, and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington, or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports. Or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle scoresports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. -E What's up, world? This is your favorite comic, favorite comic, Tony Rock. <laughs> and you're checking out Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile. 
Fox uh, Sports uh, 1350. Uh, uh, I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. <laughs> you know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here on Fox Sports 1350. Make sure you check us on the internet at FoxSports1350.com. Uh, what it was was he played the Sade, and I almost <laughs> took you back, huh? Yeah, you know what I mean? I almost, I almost went and got my silk shirt, you know what I mean, for, for the proper well, occasion. Well, the smooth operator was J.J. O'Brien. Remember with the Agua Caliente yes. Clippers? Yes. No need to ask, yes. you know? That was That's, right I wonder there. where is he at because he, he took off to Europe. Yeah, he went over, so he went, he went to go get that money. But, you know, Ike is over there, too. Yeah, Ike Microwave Jr. Yeah, we, yeah. we're just talking about the Agua Caliente yeah, Clippers just, of just, Ontario. You know, and because it's coming up. It's, it's right around the corner. Contra- you know, HR said the contracts are in the mail, so uh, we'll see. You know, I, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. Let's you know, not, let's not, today we're in negotiations. I was just about to say because you know we haven't really inked nothing yet, so we got to make sure you know we we'll, we'll tiptoe around that. But we do have a very special guest that are here with us live in studio. Uh, as you were saying, Coach B, uh, you know I, I remember the, ba- the the days back in the you know of the men's league. You know I used to go in there, with, you know. The two knee pads. You had the Michael Cooper socks on. I had the Michael Cooper socks, you with know. The, with a circle on the two circles. I mean, right right below the kneecap. Right below the kneecap. You know, with the biker shorts and, the, you know, and the two shorts on, right? You know, so ready to go. So we have a very special guest. So please introduce yourself to the Fox Sports Radio audience. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, Mike Feaster here. Uh, we are getting ready to launch a uh, men's basketball league. Um, going to try to bring that back to the Inland Empire. It's going to be held over at Lakeside uh, High School. Uh, we're going to have different divisions. We're going to have open division, uh, over 30 division, um, and looking forward to it. It's going to be five me, on five I, and three on three. But you know what I'm excited about, Eternal? They said they're going to have a no talent division. I so that's because, where I'm going to be. Well, you know? well people, well, a lot of folks don't know, uh, you know, rec league MVP. <laughs> okay, okay. Back to back. Uh, you know, I mean, I was in there. I just, you know, I kind of was like player and coach. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Young, you know, kind of like young Brian Brian. Okay. Uh, uh, well, but, but, oh, but, whoa. Yeah, oh, my. I mean, you know. Oh wow! I mean, yeah, you know why? You know, W. You know, I mean, but, you, know. you know, I think we were one in the same when I when I, we had games. It was more important how I looked than how I played. Well, how you I, know how I sounded when I when I when I, when I when I told people that when I gave them instruction on how to play the game. Oh, you got a rebound. You had to make all the noise. Yeah. <laughs> that was me. You had to that slap, was me. You had to slap the ball. <laughs> a lot of animation, but no. Please talk to us because uh, you're doing some really great things. Uh, and there's a there's a uh, three on three event you guys are doing. This, uh, this is a charity event. Yes. Uh, that is, uh, I want to say, because this is like, I want to say it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Correct. And so, so because it's pink out. We Last last night at the football game, folks were wearing pink. But please talk to us about that event you have going on, because that's, that's coming up. Yes, that's coming up uh, October 20th and 21st at Lakeside High School also. Uh, it's a three-on-three event for both uh, adults, high school, and youth. Uh, proceeds, a portion of all the proceeds are going to uh, Michelle's Place Breast Cancer Awareness down in Temecula. Um, that's a great uh, uh charity it's a great uh, place that helps people with breast cancer um helps families they do a bunch of different stuff not just during the month of october but mm-hmm. throughout the year great so uh i think this is the third year we're doing that for them um and we're looking to double our uh, uh donation this year Fantastic. and you know and, and one thing i, I turn on, i'm sorry not to cut you no, off please. but it's important because my wife i said it last night on the high school game of the week my wife's grandmother uh passed away because of breast cancer so i appreciate your efforts and everything you guys do with that certainly we always advocate trying to get your screenings but now and, and again tell everybody where this is going to take place yes. and, and 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 where they can sign up as well yep. please again it's uh october 20th and 21st at lakeside high school uh they can go to ie battle for the cure.com okay it's got all the information there it's got all the divisions the costs um the rules all the different divisions and then a registration link Registrations open up until Sunday night. Okay. Uh, we have a few uh, uh, divisions that we still need filled. Okay. So if anybody can sign up, that would be great. Um, like I said, it's it's only eighty dollars for youth teams. It's uh, one twenty for adult teams. There's only a five dollar gate fee. Right. Which, like I said last time, that's, yeah, it's pretty fair. Yeah. And, and, you know, and I'm gonna come out there. I mess around and you know hit a triple double, <laughs> young ice cube. You know, and, and mess around and go out there. You know what I mean? You know, I, I don't want to just. You know, I don't want to, you know, because it's difficult for me to be us to be advertising this, and I'm gonna go out there and, and mop the floor with some some folks. But uh, but no, we, we really appreciate that. You also you brought a, a gentleman here that's uh, helping you out in terms of uh the, some yes. of the, the sponsorships. So please introduce that gentleman. We want to make sure we get him on and and make sure we uh we 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 mention him and his business. Please. Sure. Uh, Dave Harkins is uh here with us. Um, this was actually a lot of this was his idea. 
Mm-hmm. Um, he's still very active in basketball. He plays uh, in men's leagues right oh, now. Oh, wait a Hold on. Hold yeah. on, Dave. I, like yeah. I, I saw the way he was looking at me. Well, he looked at you like he was going to lace you up. Yeah, he you was know? looking at me like, he was like, I don't know if those are gym shoes you got on right there. <laughs> you up there talking like, he's you like, know. like, I got a basketball in the car. <laughs> you know, I, you better have some gym shorts under them pants, young man. Uh, but please, uh, let's get him on. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, get make him sure, on. let's make sure we want to make sure we talk to this man because we've been talking to him on the phone. We get a, right. we get a chance to put a, a face a, a, a face to the voice. Right. Yes, Fox, Sports, so, Fox Sports 13. For the coach being eternal, you got it. You want me to jump in? You know, the funny thing is, and you know, eternal says that. So, what was the girl's name in Grand Terrace? Eternal, you remember her name? Was it Skyler? Skyler something. Yeah. So, so this is a funny story. So, about right. three or four years ago, she was a stud at, at Grand Terrace High School, and we were joking around with her and playing. She's now at UCR, right? And she's at UCR, and we're talking to the mother, and the mother looks us up and down, and she's like, "I can still lace them up." I was like, "You know, I don't play basketball. You know, I know I look like a, a stud. I get it, but I don't play basketball. You know." Uh, but talk to us a little bit about you know we've we've had some conversations via Facebook yes, and even on the phone. And you're really excited about this. This is uh, you're really passionate about one the nonprofit and the philanthropy, and then the uh, the basketball league. Talk to what got you involved with this. Well, I, I mean, I've been playing basketball all my life, and then uh, I started having kids. Man, to tell you the truth, I started having kids, and I took about a ten year stretch where I was just getting fat and lazy and not doing much. Right. Well, that's I, that's the excuse I'll use. Yeah, you know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was already lazy before kids. But go ahead. <laughs> so I mean, at some point, you gotta kind of get get back into it, get back on the saddle, so to speak. So uh, just started playing ball again, and then uh, no better way than uh, to get out there with your buddies and make a team, and go out there and challenge some other guys and see what got going on. You know. Um, yeah, no, it, it just we, we kind of want to bring back to the, the feeling when you got when you were a kid going right. out and playing ball with right. your friends, getting right. dressed up, putting new, new new kicks on, and getting right. out there and playing. We want to bring that back to the to the older the older guys and get out there and play some ball, and then hopefully everybody can get out there. And have so you fun. actually played. My position was the yeah. bench. So yeah. so that's that's where yeah. I was at. You well, know, you know that, that, and that's really a positive thing because uh, a lot there's a lot of uh, stuff we you know Brian and I we're advocates of we're trying to uh, promote against child obesity. And and one and of the, you can say I'm not taking it to heart, right? So don't don't and, look at me. And what happens? <laughs> is, what happens a lot of times is you know kids are looking at their parents, and their parents are sitting there, you know, on the couch, you know, with a with a pot belly, looking like they just got through eating a Brontosaurus Rex burger. And why yeah. are you looking and, at me when you say that? Oh, yeah, I, I, my fault. Did, did, did yeah, I yeah just a little bit. Oh, a little bit. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look the other way. Look the other way. I'm, so. like, I'm not gonna talk about that pepperoni pizza you right, had last right, night. Right, right, right. Oh, two slices, man. It was delicious. Let me get two of them slices. Um, and they were Costco pizza, right? Man. So, t- and talk to us about because, uh, as you said, you, you kind of bringing that uh, that feel back of getting back in the gym, getting healthy. Uh, but, but again, talk to us about the importance of uh, the advocating of the, the the breast cancer awareness and and doing that through sports. Well, obviously, breast cancer awareness is is a major cause that we all, you know, men men even uh, we got to help out the ladies in this cause and uh, anything that we can do. I mean, uh, getting out there and playing ball, you're not just giving somebody some money you're getting out of it you're getting some exercise and if you sign your kids up for their division and you playing with the kids you guys get a whole family day out there playing ball having fun right and you're also donating to a good cause um i mean it's october it's breast cancer awareness month well, what better I, cause to get i'll tell you if you do want to just give some money away we'll email you our, our information real quick but no i, I want to make sure we, you know because you have another partner this well, year you know, well. be, yeah. one, one no, thing no, one thing i want to do what's important i, I know that the nonprofit's important I know the men's league is important, but let's talk about this. Uh, what's really important, you know? I mean, the, the elephant in the room, uh, Harkin Family Mattress. Oh, let's, uh, oh let's, yeah, we got to oh, oh, hold on a second. We gotta make sure we, uh, my, my fault. Sorry about that. We got to make sure we today do. we got time. Today we got time. Today we got time. Okay, here we sir. go. Talk a little bit about that. I mean, you. When I talk to you, you're passionate about that. How long have you guys been doing that? Um, let's see here. Uh, it's gonna be good coming up on nine years. Wow. Yeah, man. When we started off, like my first year or two years, I was basically son. I'm out of my garage. Wow. wow. And since then, we've built it up. Now we got a shop, got the best deals on mattresses in the Inland Empire. Look us up on Facebook, Harkins Family Mattress, Yelp. Uh, mention this interview, you get $25 off. Oh, watch uh, out. Sign up for the, the Breast Cancer 3 on 3 League, you get $50 off a mattress purchase. Sign up for our Men's Adult League. Uh, Fifty dollars off a mattress. So, so yeah, what's the address and phone number? I was about to say we got to make sure we put that out there. Address is two zero four zero East Ridge Avenue uh, in the city of Riverside. And oh, he turned. Where you born? Nah, I think, I, about to say, you I know, think he I, got a little emotional. He yeah. perked up. Oh, he's he trying to say, you know, the head kind of <laughs> perked up real quick. Like, not far, right down the street. There you so go, right down the street, around the corner. Uh, phone number is nine five one nine six six five four five four. Feel free to shoot me a text, give me a call, whatever you feel like. Do you guys have a website? 
Uh, yes, sir, we do. And you could, but most the best best way to get a hold of us is going on our Facebook page. Okay, Hardy's Family Mattress. There you Fantastic. go. We got to get this man like a commercial where we doing like you know the the, the crazy mattress deal, like how, how my man does on there. But you we can set we, that we, up. We right, want like we a crazy Gideon. Type. Yeah, we want crazy even, Gideon. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. stock them deep and sell them cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, you take me way back right there. Right. Uh -huh. so JJ, I'm about to say JJ. JJ. Uh, my man, the king of I'm Beavers. The king of Beavers. That boy was ruthless. We ain't gonna talk about that. Our young interns are looking like man. My parents might know what that is. Yeah, 911, 911. But uh, anyway, but again, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Uh, uh, let's have our man come over here real quick uh, because, again, Coach uh, Garland. Coach Garland and, and uh, he rising stars. So, uh, again, talk, talk to us about, about this, uh, this, this tournament. And, and, again, I ask you the same question about the importance of this tournament, what you guys are doing in terms of the, the philanthropy you guys are doing. Well, number one, because of the breast cancer, um, that's what we're most excited about, being able to support the women. And they're all dear to us. We all have somebody that's related Indeed. that has gone through this one way or another. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So that definitely um, something that we all um, are very passionate about. And then to get out there and do it with something we love to do, right. which is playing basketball, right? And watching basketball. So that's that's a like a two for one for us. Guarantee, guarantee. Now, and, and again, folks can sign up. Uh, you know, we're, we're telling folks to go ahead and sign up. Uh, this is going to be a, a three on three. Now, what, what's the date on this again, please? What's the date on this? I'm sorry. It's going to be October 20th and 21st. 20th next and weekend. next weekend. But you got to sign up. Don't sign up on the, you know, like day of. We're trying to have, we want you guys to sign up. Not now, but right now. Um, and, and, and where can folks sign up again, please? If you... Okay, there it goes. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, tell, go ahead. tell everybody where they can sign up again. Everybody can sign up at uh, iebattleforthecure.com. I eat battle for the cure .com. And again, man, we are, we appreciate everybody coming out here and doing this. And I know you're, I know you're passionate about that. Cause I know you're coaching folks and everything. So it, it, we, we're really excited about supporting you guys. And, and, and you guys have a, a social media hashtag and everything like that where people can get more information as well. Correct. Uh, yes. Everybody can get information on all these events at I E rising stars. Uh, that's our tag for uh, Instagram, Facebook and everything. So it's uh, I E rising stars. Fantastic. Fantastic. One, one thing that I want to talk to Coach Harlan about, we talked about this off air, and, and I'm looking, you think they called the game uh, the Heritage Paloma Valley at halftime, right? Yes. And that game, and, and think of it, it was 42-14. Yeah, I mean. At the half. Yeah, we, we uh, well, and, and see, and you, you over there, see, you over there jumping around. I thought you were talking about a basketball <laughs> game for a second. <laughs> no, I football. Like... But, Coach, I, I know you coach a, a, a basketball. Have you ever, I've never seen games like that called the entire uh, Southern California was called. Have you ever seen anything like that? I've never seen anything like that. But if you would have seen <clears throat> anything of the lightning and thunder last night, right, yeah. and the rain when it came down, right, yeah, um, totally understand. No, right. and, totally and, and for us, we were. I mean, you got to think we were calling the game, and we we were looking out, and we couldn't see anything. We were. I mean, we 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 were trying to find out like. You know, we thought it was we thought it was Ghostbusters. You know, we thought it was somebody. You know, we like come hold on, say this got to be staged. And all of a sudden, you know, we look outside and and and, and the backup because it was coming coming from the uh, the the south end. And uh, my goodness, it was the real deal. So yeah, yeah. It, it was definitely justified. Right, absolutely. <laughs> Are you ready for basketball season? How are you guys looking this year? Um, we still got a little work to do, but we're ready. Okay, we're ready. We're in there working hard right now. Do you want to? You want to go? You see him perk up when we say, start talking about his team. I, I he got a little saying, excited. Do, I like do, do, it. Do you want to? Do you want to put a record out there already? Or, I mean, I, I'm playing. With you. I'm, I'm not gonna play. I'm playing. With you. I'm about to say we can put some bullet or we can get it started. You know, you'd be a, AKA TMZ Sports. But no, thank you guys for what you're doing again. And um, uh, let me have Mike come up one more time, please. And, and again, please let everybody know one more time uh, the event and 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 where people can sign up, please. Yes, thank sir. You. So uh, next weekend. Battle for the Cure, uh, October 20th and 21st. You can register at iebattleforthecure.com. Um, again, we're doing some promotions, so if you sign up for this, you're going to get discounts for the uh, men's league that's going to be coming up. You can find all, all the information about the men's league on Facebook at Inland Empire Basketball Events, and you can also go to inlandempirebasketball.com to get all the information. So both Battle for the Cure is on there and the 5-on-5, uh, 3-on-3 five five, three three men's league. Fantastic. There you go. go. Yes, Coach Feaster, head coach for Santa Rosa Academy as well, director of Rising Star Basketball Academy. And most important, um, all those accolades are great. We appreciate his service in the Marine Corps. So, Thank you. Um, and, and, and the, you know, my man came in there with a the dripping uh, hat and T-shirt, and I was kind of trying to figure, I mean, 
You know what I mean? It looked like it, he just brought it out the plastic. <laughs> and I was trying to figure out, like, do I got to, like, do I got to get my son over there at the school? I was about to say, hey, I, man, man. I, I, I saw my nephew up right now. You I know what I'm saying? Son, I mean, what, you, you, you got something you ain't telling us? Well, 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 I, well, well, for a hat and teacher like that, I can go. We can go. You're going to manufacture it, son. Saying, we, we'll try to figure it out tonight. But anyway, but no, thank we'll you. We'll get so, you hooked up. Right, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And again, well, we're right here live on Fox Sports 1350. Coach B, let's do it, man. Let's do this. And, and you know what's most important, like I said, uh, Harkins Family Mattress. Uh, wh- what can I say? We, we got to talk about that. That's, that's great stuff, but we appreciate you guys all coming in uh, once again. So we, we'll make sure we get some sign We'll get it up all on our website, and we'll awesome. talk about that more. Are you ready to go to Commercial Eternal? Let's do this. You're listening to IE Sportsnet, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, live on Fox Sports, 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we're all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day. And our chicken is hand-battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. And our lemonade is always freshly squeezed. Love the window. And why do we do all this? because it makes a difference. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys, we're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no, we'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym, my gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room, weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait, a family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons Now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment. Youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S C O R E S P O R T S. This is Robert Latow for BlackSportsOnline.com, and I'm out here with Fox 1350. We are Fox Sports. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeart Radio Studios. It's IE Sportsnet, protected by the Riverside Sheriff. On Fox Sports 1350, I am your host, Eternal. I was feeling that Michael Jackson. My, my bad, man. That, 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 well, that's the young Mike. 
But, yeah. but you know, I am the one to know you, Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Visit us on FoxSports1350.com. That's that young Mike. Well, you know, I, I tell everybody since we're about to talk, we have a, a When he's bas- doing the robot. We have a basketball guest in here. Okay, uh, okay. There's, there's, there's two Michael Jordans that I remember. Okay, okay. I remember two, two. I remember two chain Mike and then Mike. Two chain Mike was 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 relentless. That was Mike when before he had got Scotty Pippen when he was just okay. trying to dunk on everything. That's two chain Mike. That's when he used to have the two chains. Oh, okay. It, you don't know say you know you know. And then you have Mike, the political Mike, the the, the regular the, the 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 polarizing Mike. You know. So two chain Mike and then Mike. I, I digress. And you said that to say what? <laughs> Understand? Like you know, you was talking. You know, you was talking about. I was talking about Michael Jackson. But I was talking about because we. I, 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 I spun it back to basketball because that's what we're talking about right now. But Michael Jackson's playing in the background. But today we got Okay, time. so let's <laughs> so let's get back. <laughs> no, we have the a second special. greatest basketball player ever. I get I, it. I, I get no, it. No doubt. I'm not fronting on that. It's magic. Magic. magic no, no, no. Young. Bron's a little bit better, but go ahead. Oh, I wow. digress. Oh, okay. We're going to do that. Okay. All right. All right. Magic's the greatest point guard ever. So. Oh, wow. We're going to do Okay. We're not going to do I mean, <laughs> we're gonna, we don't have enough time. I was about to say, we don't have enough time to even do this with you today. Uh, but we have a very special guest here. Man came dressed for the occasion. Mm-hmm. You know, and let me tell you something. I. I and this is a, one of my favorite movies ever is Talk To Me. And he was late to his first radio day. And, and, the, and the guy asked, why was he, he was late? He said, I had to get dressed for the occasion. And the guy said, you do a radio. And that sounds like something that Turner would and do. And let me tell you something. And that's me right there. So it is. It please, is. Please introduce yourself to the Fox Sports Radio audience. All right. Good morning. My name is uh, Ture Debra. I coach with Cali Elite Basketball Program. A.K.A. The Spokesman. Uh, <laughs> please. Uh, and you, you, you served as well, right? Oh, you coming in the military? Yes. Or, no, no, my mother served. Okay, so, okay. Hey, 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 we'll, we'll take I, I that. Am a, I am a, a military dependent. Yeah, okay, you know, okay. They, they call us brats. But, okay, uh, you okay. Know, yeah, I got you. No doubt about it. I got you. It. Now, Cali Elite, uh, we... We have, they're like really in step with us. We've been working with Cali Elite from the uh, from really the, the, the beginning, yes, uh, as well as the beginning of what we've been doing. Uh, talk to us about uh, w- what you guys do over there. Maybe some of our audience may not be aware of what you guys do, but talk to our audience about what you guys actually do over there at Cali Elite Basketball. No, absolutely. Uh, Cali Elite Basketball, we uh, started, this program was started a few years ago uh, by our program director, Anthony Nichols really just to provide an opportunity for kids in the in the neighborhood, in the community, in the Moreno Valley community, in Paris area, just to have an opportunity to play basketball, keep them out of trouble, to grow and to learn the sport, and, and to play it the right way. Uh, so the, the team or the program actually started with one team. Uh, it has expanded. We have age groups from 8U all the way up to uh, varsity in high school. Uh, it's just a, a ton of kids, a ton of coaches that have you know come together really to, to, inbe- to the best invest in these kids and to develop these young people to really do what they love to do and, and to really learn this game and to play it the right way. So uh, uh, we have a, an amazing uh, group of coaches and, and administrators and parents and, and kids that just love playing the game and when we love working with them. Fantastic. And then one of the other things you guys do uh, over there at Cali Elite Basketball uh, is these tournaments uh, yeah. that are just – you know, we again, we one of the things we've been working with you guys on, you know, from almost five years ago is these tournaments you guys have. And any time, you know, we we I mean, have had teams from Guam, teams come in from the the the, the Bahamas. I Absolutely. mean, teams from all over the place. One of the consistent things that we hear from people why they could we always ask them why did you come? Right. And they they always talk about the the level of competition. They say, hey, you know, you can go over here to L.A., you can go over here, but they always talk about the level of competition at the tournaments you guys have. Talk to our audience a little bit about those tournaments you guys host. Uh, yeah, so, we, we, you know, we have a, a list of tournaments that we do throughout the AAU season as it, as it pertains, uh, starting from September uh, all the way out to uh, July in the, in the summertime. And one of the things that always attracts is the competition. You know, you automatically know when you go to the big cities, L.A., San Diego, you expect there to be a lot of competition just because of the volume of teams there. Uh, but one of the things that's kind of really just understated is that there's a lot of talent right here in the Inland Empire. And, and so we're really trying to promote this area and really trying to uh, uh, shine the light that there's talent here that you don't necessarily have to go to Orange County. You don't have to go south of San Diego. You don't have to make that hour and a half commute right. to L.A. just to play quality basketball. At the end of the day, the reason why people get involved in AAU is for the competition. It is for the challenge. The way you measure your program that is growing and is successful is the challenge in this competition. Right. You know, a lot of these programs, they just want to, you know, just stack up trophies. Yeah. Well, you know, at our thought process here at Cali Elite, you know, we don't care about a $30 trophy. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, at the end of the day, 
are the kids getting better? Right. And, and the way to measure that is to put them up against some of the best competition and to be the best competition for these other programs. So Certainly. that is the goal that we have in mind when we put together these tournaments. It is it's not to put together just a, 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 a an event just to say we're putting together an event, but we want to have the teams that are international. You know, right. we've had a couple of years. We've had a, a, a girls team from France that yes. has come you yes. know, a couple of times. We, and we? We've had, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we've, had, we've had a team from Australia. We've yeah. had teams you know, from all over Arizona. We had a 13-year uh, team last year from Richmond, Virginia that yeah, came out here. I saw that. Here. I remember that. The, the, the team I was most impressed by was that Guam team because yeah. they brought, like, four teams. They Absolutely. didn't come with one team. So right. they came from Guam, fundraised. Right. I mean, I was talking to the guy. He said, man, we fundraised, came all, brought, like, Four of his teams all the way out here to play this tournament. So I mean, that that's impressive. That's impressive. Right, so. and then they had the team. Remember the team from Tijuana? Yes, they came yes. out and they played. So they, they were and they were legit too. Yeah, they were they were really really good basketball team. So I mean, they have teams from all over, which is which is impressive for you guys. I, I want to ask you because because Eternal and I, you guys have seen us from the beginning when we built this thing from a a, a business plan until we grew it to where we are right now. Do you – and this is one thing, a challenge that Eternal and I have. Do you guys ever get a chance – because I've seen you at tournaments, and I know you help do all the scheduling and everything. Yep. Do you ever get time just to sit back and, and look at the accomplishments that you guys have done? Or are you just so locked into it that you don't get a chance to sit back and just reflect? Yeah, so it, that that is definitely interesting because, you know, balance is necessary right, in, in right. anything you do. And that's something that personally that I try to uh, live my life by to make sure that I'm – yeah, I'm balanced because you can't be on your grind so much that right. you don't even – you lose sight of what you're grinding for, right? Right, right. Uh, so one thing that we do as a program is we always have that opportunity where we kind of step back after the tournament, after the events, and say, okay, let, let's let you know, let's debrief. You mm -hmm. know, what are the things that we did well? What are the things that we saw were challenges and how do we improve? I think that's the thing that's helping us to not remain complacent mm -hmm. is always challenging ourselves and taking time to look back, not just on our achievements, but the challenges because right. there's always opportunities to get better. Uh, you know, one of the things that you will find here in California and across the country, because I do schedule, is that every weekend in America, you can find a tournament somewhere. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, and idea is, well, what's going to cause you to come to a Cali Elite event versus going to any other program? Right. That is always our focus. What can we do to add value to coaches and their experience? Mm -hmm. What can we do to add value to these kids and their development? And, and so the things that we talked about is how do we bring in teams that – people have not played before. Right. You know, do you have to go to Portland? Do you, you know, it's great to be able to travel the country, but if you don't have the resources to do that, to play those teams, you know, you know that you can come to a Cali Elite event and, and play some people that you've never heard of, that you've never played before. And those are the things that we try to do to separate ourselves as, as an elite program. Right. And you, and you, and, and like Eternal and I, we've, 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 we've watched you guys' journey. Uh, we've been involved, fortunate to be involved with you guys the last five years. And, and there's a lot of programs in those five years that have tried to do what you guys have done. Uh, maybe there were some that were ahead of you guys, some behind you guys. Most imitated, most duplicated. <laughs> right, right. But you, you, like you said, you went from one team to whereas yeah. now you guys have had tournaments like with 120 teams. Absolutely. You, I, I've seen times you have four gyms. Yeah. So you, it's it's the scheduling is crazy. Yeah. Uh, and and there's times we've talked to to Anthony where the the tournament is is less than a week away. You'll have 30 teams, and and, and the day that the event happens, you have 80. So I, I have no idea how you guys do that, but you make it work. Is that stressful for you guys? Somehow, some way, you guys always seem to make it happen. Yeah, a absolutely. That's that's stressful. You know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the things that you know, as as the, the person that does the scheduling, you know, a lot of people will think, well, Saturday and Sunday is the hardest part of the tournament. I, I always mm. tell anybody that it's the <laughs> Thursday and Friday. Right. Uh, that's right. the di most difficult part because you know you have the schedule out, and then a coach will come say, oh, by the way. Right, you know, right, right, right. Uh, I, I need to make a change or, you know, I had this restriction or I had this, you know, this issue that I need to adjust. So it's the late nights, Thursday and Friday to prepare behind the scenes that a lot of these teams, they don't realize they have what's no going idea. on. Parents, right, some parents right. show up and, and right. complain. And then they, they, want to, they want to scream and shout. Now, one of the other things I want to, because I know we got to get ready to wrap up here in a second, but one of the one of the things that you guys, uh, what I like um, about the tournaments is the environment. Obviously, you're going to always have some, some bad apples every sure. now and then. But talk to us about the environment at these inter these tournaments in terms of what you guys are kind of trying to create there, um, because that that's the big deal. Sometimes you go to these tournaments and it gets a little buck wild. But right. talk to us about the environment you guys are trying to create at your events. Yeah, so you know, a lot of times, you know, these parents and these coaches and and these referees and and the spectators they forget that these are kids, right? Playing a game that they love, right? And and a lot of times we have to remind them of that, you know. 
tell the parents, take it easy. Right. You know, your your 10-year-old is not getting a scholarship. <laughs> right. Scholarship right. It's not going to happen right. today. Right. Right. It's not going to happen today. Right, right. Stop <laughs> arguing with the officials. They're Coach human, K is not too. there, right? Exactly. You know, <laughs> these referees, they're human. You right. know, they're going to make mistakes. Stop yelling and screaming at them. Right. They're doing the best they can. And right. at the end of the day, even if you are right, they're not going to change the call. We're going right. to move on with the game. Right. So, you know, we try to take the responsibility of always critiquing and, and evaluating our staff, evaluating the referees that we bring in, uh -huh. again, so that we can minimize a lot of the distractions and a lot of the issues that would take the focus away from the kids. Right. And just remind everyone, this is about them. Right. right. You know, so even when things don't go the way you want it to, at the end of the day, is your child developing? Is your child having fun? And is your child growing in the sport that they love? And like, speaking of that, you got no place. And speaking of that, you know, it's it, it's important. You've been with the Catholic League since 2015. Yes. But it's time to put the dad hat on, man. All right. Uh, you know, I, I have the same story to you. My son, who now is 16, I started coaching him when he was three. And that's why I got into coaching. Okay. Uh, hence the Coach B. What what is that? My wife sometimes she didn't get it, but to me those are memories I'll never uh, I'll never forget. Is spending all that time with my yeah. son and developing him and getting him to play football. What is that like? Just as a dad, and then name drop your son. Let everyone know. Yes. Yeah, so uh, so my son's name is uh, Montreal Deaver. Uh -huh. uh, he, he's a, a freshman uh, point guard. And let me tell you, my son started playing basketball at the age of three. He's an only child. Okay. So we want to get him involved. So you put everything in. Okay. Him. So hey. You ain't got to divide your time. <laughs> See, that's a problem my wife has with me, too. But, yeah. He, well, you know, my wife had an issue with me putting everything in. <laughs> like, hey, hold on now. You didn't marry him. <laughs> well, I got three. I got three. So my yeah. wife's like, you spending all that time with right. BJ. But, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, but nine, we, go ahead. Yeah, so at three years old, we want to get him in sports, you know, for the social aspect and, you know, to get him involved. And, you know, we realized that even at three years old, the ball was bigger than him, but he, he was able to control the basketball. So we got him involved in every type of sport. And so at the age of seven, you know, my wife got tired of me yelling at the coaches and, and, and right. playing on the sideline. She says, stop complaining and get involved. Yeah. Right, right. So at age of good, seven. That's a good wife seven, right there, boy. I, I love my wife, <laughs> Latasha D. But that's there you go. Happy Listen. wife, happy life. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Listen, so at the age of seven, I started coaching, and I had a conversation with him. I said, listen, I'm your dad, but I'm also your coach. So right. you got to come in two times. You got to right. be able to respect me as your dad and yep. as your coach. So right. when we're on the court, I'm not dad. Right. I'm coach. Right, right, right. And, right. and so even with that, the struggle is being able to juggle that and to take that coach hat off and then put the dad hat on. Right, right. Because right. that's a different dynamic. Yes, it is. Right. It's a di definitely a different dynamic because as a parent, uh, and as a coach, one of the things that I've noticed is the most difficult time sometimes for the player is that drive home from a game. Oh, right? my goodness. You know, because oh. the parents or are practice like, or even practice. Right, <laughs> I, I've seen it where parents are just berating their oh, kids yeah. and a right. lot of times because the parents are living vicariously exactly. through yep. their children. Exactly. Yep. And, and they are looking at all the things, all the missed opportunities that they had. Indeed. So they're trying to really put the pressure on their child. Right. It's a child. Right. 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 So, so that's one of the things that I've had the pleasure of learning from, you know, from fathers who are also coaches ahead of me uh, to realize do not ever sacrifice the father-son relationship right, right, for, right. The for the coach-player hey, relationship. Oh, that's, that's good I, advice know, what's, right what's there. What's funny, Turner, he keeps looking at me because that's yeah. where I was at. Yeah. You know, he's like, because, you he's know, like yeah, brother, here's what now they, go back and tell you your know, son sorry. I had that same situation. <laughs> I learned because I have two boys. Okay. I coached my older son, but I didn't coach my younger son for that reason. Okay. You know, living through them and this and that. And he, he got to the point. He played freshman and sophomore football, and then he didn't want to play more. He got two concussions. Okay. And I had to, I had to come to Jesus moment with the wife. Yeah. And I said, I just had to let it go. Right. You know, I just had to. I mean, he, the, the, he's almost six feet tall. Okay. He can dunk a basketball. He's an athlete. Yeah. You know, but but if he didn't want to do it, I right. couldn't force him to do it. You right. know, so I, I I had to. You know, I still love my son the same. Yeah. Irregardless, and I know what you're talking about. It's difficult. Because you're dad and coach. Right. So I definitely understand what you're talking about, man. So Cali Elite, Cali Elite Basketball right here live in the studio. Coach, again, uh, please in, uh, uh, introduce yourself one more time so everybody can, we, we can make sure we, we get you out there. Absolutely. Yeah, my name is uh, Teray Deaver. I'm a coach with the uh, 14U uh, basketball team with Cali Elite. And now how do folks sign up? If they if they right now, folks, because you don't already got folks inspired. I know folks are like, <laughs> I, I'm I think I can go get you know again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, tell, Come on out. Come yeah, on tell, out. tell folks how they can sign up again, please. Absolutely. Visit our website at Cali EliteBasketball.com. You will find all the information there to register your child for training, uh, for games. If they want to be a part of a team, come try out. And then, it, I just want to know before we go, I got to ask this. Uh, has Anthony got too big for us now? I mean, yeah. we can't get him on the phone. Yeah. We, every I mean, time I see him, every time he ain't I see got time. Him. Yeah, every time I see him, he, you know, he got his shirt off on Instagram. Oh, we out Lord. there just, just vacationing. Just doing right, right, you know right. what I mean? Just wee wee. But uh, no, we, uh, we appreciate everybody at Cali Lee Basketball. You guys have been great partners for a long time. We appreciate everything you appreciate guys are doing. Guys. But more so, we appreciate what you guys are doing for those kids in the community. Uh, uh, that's one thing that we can't. Uh, that's 
to get, kind of get lost in a lot of this is, is as as you said, you're, you're planting the seeds, and you and we've seen that some of these kids grow. We, we've actually even had uh, kids that have started in Cali Lee, and they've actually now played in our All Star game. Right, which is, right. Which is, that was Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. So I mean, so it's, it's really been great. So uh, kudos to you guys, all the staff over there. You guys sure. are doing a great job. Right, and and I know what he's talking about because you know I've had that situation with parents where I told them they want to complain, complain. I said before you complain, before we have a conversation, here's a volunteer form. Exactly. You know because right. you guys do this for free. Yeah. Absolutely. You don't get paid to do this. So and, and I, I think that again, that's another thing that gets lost. But uh, right. appreciate your time. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna uh, we're gonna go to a quick break. We're going to come back, and when we come back, we're going to go over a couple of scores. There were a couple final scores okay. that we saw uh, last night. So oh, wow. We, we, we done blew through the show. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I, I'm managing. I got this there thing you go. going on. Yeah, the clock's right in front of you. You, you just over there. You just over, yeah, yeah, you just over there to send the stars. Right? You know, well, you we just, know when Kelly Elite comes in. I mean, like I said, these are people that could legitimately walk in and get the Kool-Aid yeah, out here. And, you know? and, and grab the Kool-Aid. Yeah, okay. they're invited to the family picnic. There it is. You know? So. There it is. Come on in. So, but, Okay, you're listening to IE Sports Net, protected by the Riverside Sheriffs with Coach B, Riverside and, Sheriffs Association. Indeed, indeed. Andy Turner, when it comes to Illinois Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Live on Fox Sports, 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we're all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day. And our chicken is hand battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. And our lemonade is always freshly squeezed. Love the window. And why do we do all this? Because it makes a difference. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. What's up, world? This is your favorite comic, favorite comic, Tony Rock. <laughs> and just checking out Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. Uh, well, he, uh, he's about to have me. I was almost like close to like. You about to do some candy rain moves? I was about to like literally break the candy rain down. Like, right. like, like you know what I mean? Like right now. Well, uh, it's for y'all. Why didn't y'all have the, the Talberts? You know, <laughs> the Talbert four. Well, because, well, 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 because, you know, the Talberts, I'm the only one that can, that can dance. You know, oh, my, my, my brother, gotcha. my brother, Will, he's stiff as a board. Right. And Jamal, <laughs> stiff as a board. And Joseph, stiff as a board. Well, you could have been Bobby. You know what I mean? You know what Bobby wanted well, to take all the spotlight and I know. everything. That's what I'm saying. I, I wanted them to at least get a little shine, you know. <laughs> you know, But I'd have, I'd have been out there. You know, I'd have been a reckless You would have probably been like Tony Braxton. Like, well, I could go solo and just right, leave right. leave your sisters right. behind. No, no. So. Y'all stay way back in there. I'll get back. I'll get back a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, as you said, uh, last night, crazy night uh, in football. Uh, for folks that, uh, that, that want to get uh, up-to-date scores or find out what's going on, because as Coach B was saying earlier in the show, some teams are – Concluding their games today. Bosco and Modern Day will be tonight. That is that is crazy. So I mean, this is a really crazy night in football. Uh, as for folks who don't know, they may not have been listening to the show earlier. Uh, Lightning uh, stopped a lot of the games uh, in the Inland Empire, really in Southern California last night. Uh, so a lot of games stopped were were actually postponed at halftime. So we're still trying to get information in and uh, find out what's going to happen with some of these games. They're just going to call it right there um, at the half, whatever the score is, or if they're going to allow these teams to uh, resume the game. So, uh, again, if you follow us on, on social media, follow us at IE Sportsnet, IE Sportsnet, and we'll also have information on our website, IESportsnet.com. Coach B? Absolutely. So, I, that's and that's one thing. I'm, I'm looking at my Max Prep app, and I'll get a look at it. But because that, that game, and I, that was one game, we were calling the high school game of the week on Fox Sports 1350. But I tell you, that's one game I wanted to see. Correct. Because that game is usually, you know, uh, Centino usually doesn't play those teams until playoffs. But uh, that's one. You think about that deep team. I mean, that game, you have Bosco and Modern Day in the same division. And then you have Polly out there. So, yeah. that's. I mean, that's some strong football. Yeah, it really is. Uh, and then Bosco's already, as you were saying, excuse me, Modern Day has already um, suffered a loss uh, for for an, an, an ineligible player. I want to say maybe if it's not not, not mistaken, it might be two losses, but I don't for sure one loss early for, uh, for Modern Day. Yeah, and then Bosco's 7-0. Yeah. So, so you talk about the, the, the clash of the Titans. Yeah. So I mean, this this thing about how big that game is, where they said, "Hey, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bring that back." You know, that's almost like if you get beat up by the bully, and you say, "I gotta bring that back on Saturday." So my, so so Bosco seven and zero. Modern Day is six and one. So that game will be tonight, seven o'clock at Santa Ana College. So I, that's uh that's Modern Day's home field. And and and, and, and real quick, I, I know for, for folks, it's, it's a little rainy out there. I just our guy Greg Holla are right down the hallway. They have ninety nine point one. And they're going to have the taco festival. Uh, it's going down rain, sleet, snow, or lightning, I'm hearing. They out there. So Fat Joe and some tacos is going down 
real heavy at White Park in the Great City Riverside Coast. He's kind of like Big Boy now. I mean, Fat Joe ain't really Fat Joe no more. I mean, I mean, right? I go back to when Fat Joe was, was Fat Joe. Yeah. And now and, he's like and why a still, little overweight Joe. You I, know, I, I was gonna say something about Big Boy, but I'm not. So <laughs> yeah, um, he's iHeart now. He's yeah, I said, he now. is so iHeart. He's, he's probably he's, one of the biggest assets partner. at iHeart. He's yeah. partner. <laughs> and, and, and he rocks with our guy Eric Blake. So big shout out to my man Eric Blake. So yeah. Anyway, we're about to get ready to get out of here. And uh, then the Clippers are going to have their open house soon. We'll, yes, we'll talk about that. Clippers next year. open house. Uh, the Agua Caliente. The Agua Caliente, Caliente Clippers of, of Ontario. And then also real quick, we are going to be doing our our our, our turkey giveaway for um for uh, less fortunate families. We got to get Cali Elite involved with that in Riverside. Seventeenth yeah, and the nineteenth. There you go. Thank you for listening to IE Sportsnet, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Illinois Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Live on Fox Sports 1350. Fat Joe, what's up, man? We're going to see you a little bit later on, man. White Park, where we at? You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority.